They're the angry customers who save to buy a car only to end up with a lemon. Now they're taking aim at the dealership they bought them from. And this isn't the first time the dealers copped flack. You sold me this car, but instead you sold me a lemon. If you've brought a car from them and it's fine, you're one of the lucky ones. Will you accept these lemons on our behalf? They shouldn't be doing this to people. This was supposed to be Crystal Alderson's dream car. I was so excited because it was the first actual thing that I owned that was worth a bit of money. But just a day later, she says her $8,000 Peugeot suddenly broke down on a busy freeway. It would drop speed and I couldn't use the pedals. Thankfully, Crystal's nine-year-old son wasn't in the car. The next day I called Automax saying about what happened and I said that they needed to fix it. They said to me it wasn't their problem. Despite Crystal forking out extra for an extended warranty, she says she was forced to take the car to her own mechanic, who was shocked. They say that the car never should have been roadworthy in the first place. Um, it was blowing blue smoke. Crystal says she finally convinced Automax to fix her car, but that was only the start of this nightmare. And then as I was driving back, 30 minutes later, it happened again. <laughs> Back it went to Automax and Crystal says the next time she saw her car was almost eight months later. That's eight months Crystal had to keep paying $100 a week in repayments. I'm a single mum and they thought it was okay. <laughs> Sorry. This car meant everything to me. It was going to change my life. Mum of two, Jude Rainsford, is another unhappy customer who saved up for three years. And I knew that I'd never be able to have that kind of money again, you know, to get another car. In March, the 58-year-old purchased this Kia so she could fit her wheelchair in the back, but Jude says it began shaking uncontrollably, robbing her of her independence. It sat in my driveway for about a month. Since August 2019, we've received at least 14 uh, complaints from consumers about Automax. Um, this is quite a high number relatively uh, for us, for a particular dealer. Catherine Temples from the Consumer Action Law Centre. A lot of them have said that the cars have broken down soon after they've left the dealership. Um, when they've gone back to the dealership to resolve issues, it's been incredibly difficult and they've been stuck with a lemon. We paid Automax's Dandenong car yard a visit with a detour via the supermarket. I just wanted to present this little gift to Automax on behalf of all the customers who say they've been sold a lemon by Automax. Do you sell lemons here? No, we don't. This sales consultant's in the middle of a deal and says he's going to call the boss, so we wait and wait some more before an alarm starts blaring <whistles> and we're ordered out. Could you please leave? Sure. After being told the boss would come down and speak with us, he's now become unavailable. It seems when life gives you lemons, you can't always make lemonade. Automax later sent us a statement saying we've had both cars at our workshop and fixed the problems with these two cars and we have also offered to refund the purchase price in full or encourage the customers to swap to a more expensive car at our cost. Jude denies ever being offered a refund while Crystal says it was only after media exposure. We think there needs to be a quicker, cheaper and simpler way to resolve these disputes. Do you think they care about their customers? Not at all. Automax says it's sorry there have been rare occasions it didn't respond to customers in its usually prompt manner. You can read the full statement on our homepage.